Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Want to talk about something that I really enjoy, and I'm sure some of you guys enjoy it too. And I'm sure you guys got hobbies that you absolutely love. Me, I'm a big nerd, so I love anything like gaming, movie, uh, action figures, stuff like that. I, you know, some people might say that's sad. You're like, well, you're a 35 year old uh, thick boy that loves nerdy things. I do, I do. But the difference is, is I got a job, I'm getting married, got a place, uh, so I'm, I'm you know, feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good. I know there's a stereotype for nerdy neckbeards like me, but I think I kind of not really a part of that stereotype. I'm just saying. Just before the trolls get in here and be like, oh, of course, you fat nerd with a beard that loves gaming, you man child. I love being a man child. Can't help it. <laughs> I just can't help it. But I've been looking forward to this game that I'm getting ready to talk about. And I don't think there's a way I can spoil this game. Because the game is really up to into uh, interpretation of what you think this game means. Um, there's not really a story that's presented in a traditional sense. A lot of the storytelling is within the environment. Um the things you do, the puzzles, and just the, well, the scenery. And when I say scenery, I mean this game had me stopping so many times to just look at everything that's going on in this game. Uh, if you have Xbox Game Pass or PC Game Pass, you can actually play this on your subscription. The game is called Scorn, which originally, I believe, was shown off in 2014. This game's been on my radar since 2014, which is insane. But there's a lot of things that's happened to me personally since 2014. But was it really worth the hype? Was it really worth the five or six hours that I put into this game to finish it? Yes and no. Now, going into this game, you're going to think, oh, this is a first-person shooter. Awesome. Technically, you're right. But technically, you're wrong. This game is definitely not a first-person shooter. Um, not in a traditional sense. This game's not really a game as it is an experience. And what I mean is you don't necessarily play Scorn. You do. It is interactive. You do shoot guns. There are guns, but it's not really what the game is focused on. Uh, a lot of the game is focused on environmental storytelling and puzzles. Again, like I said, the game is called Scorn. Um, if you've seen any of the artwork, it may be familiar. Um, if you ever seen the movie Alien, uh, it's some H.R. Geiger inspired artwork, which is insane. Like I said, I've stopped several times in this game just to look at what's going on. The amount of detail in this game is staggering. Like, I just don't understand how one human being <laughs> Well, not one human. I mean, it was a team. I don't know how big the team was. But I don't know how this game was created. And I do understand why it probably took so long. But Because like I said, the art style is something you rarely see in video games. Yes, it's dark. Yes, it's bleak. Yes, it kind of makes you uh, question things. A lot of things, actually. Especially near the end. Which the ending will throw you off a little bit. But like I said... The game is up into interpret interpretation. There's not really a way I can spoil the game. I don't want to tell you what's going on in the game, and I'm not going to spoil it with some of the footage I'm providing. Mainly the footage I'm providing is just kind of background stuff. That way you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, just some gameplay stuff. I don't want to show any uh, big things. But like I said, it's a pretty interesting game. Pretty interesting uh, it'll take you about five to six hours to complete. Not a long game. It's not a time sink, but sometimes it does feel like it's overstaying its welcome. Especially with some of the puzzles that are in this game. It doesn't hold your hand. This game does not hold your hand and tell you what you need to do. You need to figure that out yourself. Now, I had some head scratchers that, honestly, uh, you know, Miss Bits and I, we both worked on it together. She told me some things that, you know, we could do. And I did look up some guides on how to do some things because the game does not tell you what you need to do. But most of the puzzles I did figure out on my own. 
And when you figure out some of these puzzles, it's pretty gratifying and it does feel pretty good to progress the next thing that's going on. Now, when I say the environment, the storytelling, uh, and everything else, this game is super bleak. Uh, in terms of music, there's not really any music in the game, per se. Um, there is some minor percussion, um, a lot of a lot of groans, moans, uh, whistles, uh, not much in terms of a, like an actual soundtrack. It just makes you feel uneasy, and it does a really good job of what it's trying to come out to do. Now, you may leave the game, finish it with more questions than it did answer, and you know, whenever I finished it, I thought, you know, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to say, if you made it this far, uh, there's not really much else I want to talk about. But if you did, I kind of want to go a little bit into spoiler territory. But like I said, this game is up into interpretation. Maybe you see things different than I do. So if you're ready, let's go. So the game to me, what it meant to me was basically life. And there's a movie that came out a few years back, figured, featured uh, uh, shoot, Jennifer Lawrence, and I think it was Jeffrey Barnum, I, I forget his name, but it was a movie called Mother, and it was very confusing, um, very confusing, very, uh, again, it was up to interpretation what this movie was about, um, it was basically about life. The beginning of life to the end of life, creation and to the end. And that's kind of what I got out of Scorn. It's a slow burn for sure. And it does make you think, like, throughout the game. It does make you think. Like, you see certain things happening and you're like, man, what's going on? And when you get to the end, that crazy ending, you still don't know exactly what happened. You don't have any more answers. It doesn't write it down in front of you and expects you to be like, oh yeah, this is what it's about. You really have to think about it. You really do. You really have to concentrate on some of the environmental puzzles, some of the stuff that's happening in the background to really kind of grasp the situation. And to me, it was fertility, life, death. Uh, that was basically what I thought. And, you know, I just saw some other videos talking about it and they kind of got the same thing out of it that I did. I thought, again, it was basically fertility, life, and death. And if you're looking for something that has dialogue, there's no dialogue here. It's not a spoken word at all. Um, if you're looking for a happy ending, there's no happy ending. <laughs> there's not. Um, you know, it's almost the equivalent of watching Schindler's List. You feel really bad during this whole game. You feel like, Man, this is icky. Um, you know, I don't know if I want to watch it, but I have to continue. But at the end, you just kind of feel really shitty. Um, th at least that's what it was for me. And, uh, you know, maybe comparing to Schindler's List is probably a bad, but it's kind of that degree. Like, yes, it's, it's well made. Yes, it's got a great atmosphere. Uh, in the case of Schindler's List, no, it doesn't. It's... It's a baller, basically. That's a bad, bad way to compare <laughs> Scorn to Schindler's List. Mother is probably the best thing I can compare it to. So if you take the movie Alien, Prometheus, combine it with the movie Mother, then I kind of think this is what you get as Scorn. Very, very crazy game. Uh, again, it's more, it's not as much as a game as it is an experience. Do I recommend Scorn? I highly do. I highly recommend Scorn on the basis of that. Is it a game of the year, Tinder? No, it's not. Will Scorn be remembered for its story and gameplay? Not really. Scorn will be remembered later on. It probably will be a cult classic. Scorn is something that you don't see very often. Um, yeah, it's, it kind of leans to horror and a walking simulator at the same time, but the way it carries itself is something that you just don't see in games, um, a lot of, in my opinion, in my opinion, that's what I think. But if you're looking for a game to play, you, you know, you like dark stuff, you like 
trying to solve mysteries, you like puzzles, you like gruesome Im imagery, and God, there's some gruesome stuff in this game, let me tell you. Not for the faint of heart. But if this is something you are interested in, I definitely highly recommend this game, especially if you love art. Because I think this game kind of proves that video games are an art farm. I know there's a long debated uh, argument that video games are not art, but I think this is one of those cases where it is proven that video games are art. Um, so check out Scorn. Said so if you have Xbox Game Pass and PC Ultimate, it's on the subscription service, so you don't have to go out and spend 40 bucks. Uh, you can just play the whole game right there. And like I said, it's not sponsored by Microsoft, but call me. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, it's not my regular stuff, and I maybe maybe you'll get something out of it. But I love you, and I'll see you soon.